Hi class, so what I want to do in this video is I want to go back and work the um, problem from the previous lecture and I want to show you how to use your graphing calculator to get the interval actually very easily. Okay, so recall the problem. It was about the mean incubation period for the SARS virus and it said in a sample of 81 SARS patients it was found that the mean incubation period was 3.8 days with a standard deviation of 51 days. So right off the bat we know our sample size n was 81 x bar was 3.8 and the standard deviation s was 15.1 so the problem asked us going down here the problem asked us what it wanted us to do was it wanted us to construct and interpret a 95 percent confidence interval for the mean incubation period of SARS and in the previous lecture I showed you how to do this by hand and we got the 95 percent confidence interval for the mean was um, it could be as low as 0 0.5 days a half a day all the way to 7.1 days so the mean could be any number in between there all right so your graphing calculator will do this for you actually incredibly easy so the good news is if you have a ti-83 or a ti-84 um, it doesn't matter the options are still the same so i'm just going to show it on the ti-84 but what you're going to do is you're going to hit the stat button on your calculator you're going to go over to tests you want tests and you actually want number eight. You want this thing called the T interval, okay? So this is an interval estimate, and we're using the T distribution, so we want number eight. So when you go down to number eight, just hit enter. And you'll see two options here. There's one for data, and there's one for stat. So when we have raw data, uh, we'll use this one. But what I have when I say stats, it's, it's when it gives you the things like the mean and standard deviation. So you're going to scroll over to stats, and then you're going to hit enter. And you're going to see something that looks like this. So X bar here, we're going to go down. So if you look back in our problem, on average, it was 3.8 days, right? The standard deviation was 15.1 days. and n is the sample size which is 81. Now the confidence level, C level, is default set to 0.95 but if I ask for a difference level of confidence, like if I had asked for 99 percent confidence level, you would just put 0.99 there but since it's set for 0.95, leave that alone. So just go down to calculate and hit enter. It's going to take a second and this is what we get. They're saying it's 0.46. Now, th what we did in our example is we rounded it. So when you round this, you get 0.5, which is what we have right here. And then looking back, 7.1, which is what we also have right here. So your calculator did that very easily for us and very quickly. And you are more than welcome to use your calculator as you work through these problems. All right, class, I hope that helped.